High voltage and equipment failure. Now, before we get started, <laughs> you might wonder, what the hell is this guy doing out here on a, on a day like today? I mean, look at this today. We're in the middle of June, still in the middle of the pandemic, which is why I'm home. But this is, this is our deck. This is where Terry and I hang out when the weather's nice. I mean, look at the look at over there, the green hills. We've had a lot of rain. This is one of the prettiest times of the year. So I hope you are all staying safe during the middle of this, this stuff. All right, so high voltage. Yeah, well, here we are. We're going to talk in my backyard for, for the next month, <laughs> two months. I don't know. Uh, the question comes from John in Bluffton, South Carolina. He writes, hey, Paul, in my home, the line voltage runs at 126 volts more or less continuously. Well, fairly continuously. Uh, we moved to South Carolina from California, and there the voltage ran at 115 volts nominal. So because I can't afford to run a dedicated 20 amp service line to my home equipment, I've considered a power regenerator like you guys make to feed my equipment and to help prevent electrical surge damage. I'm going to have a true lightning rod and <laughs> sorry, <laughs> bad jokes run, run in my family. Yes, that's all right. Um, and a whole house surge protector installed for protection. Good job. But my question is, could continuous operation of audio equipment at higher than normal voltages cause any long term damage to the audio equipment? And is this another good reason to buy a regenerator? You know, John, it's, it's a good question, but let me save you a few bucks. Uh, first off, I wouldn't worry about it. 120, 129, 130 volts, not going to be a problem for most equipment. Anything over about 100, and, eh, let's, let's call it 130. And yeah, you, you might have some troubles, but you're, well, you're down here at what, 126? As long as it stays right about there, you're in good shape. Not a problem not a reason to buy a regenerator. Now, I want you to buy a regenerator <laughs> because for other reasons, because it's going to make your system sound so much better, but not for that reason. Also, while regenerators are great because you could set the voltage right where you wanted, 120 volts all day long, that's the nominal voltage that we really want to see. Even though a lot of equipment says 115 volts, I prefer 120. So you're not that far over the line. The regulation of a regenerator, good reason to buy. Better sound quality of a regenerator, excellent reason to buy. But not for the reasons that you're bringing up, because as long as it stays around 126 or so, you're not going to risk any damage to your equipment. So don't do it for that reason. Now, let's talk briefly about where you live. Where is this? South Carolina. Yeah, well, there's a lot of lightning. And here in Colorado, when, 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 when a big lightning storm happens, we've got this great little overhang on our roof that Terry and I set a bench up. And we sit out here, if it's usually in the evening, glass of wine or something, and we watch the most amazing lightning show on the planet. I mean, it's awesome. But it ain't good for your stereo system. Now, we've never had anything come close to us and hit, but if your home gets a direct lightning hit, you can kiss off just about anything because a direct lightning hit, it, while it's very, very rare, will take out just about everything. So again, not too concerned about it. Be sure you have surge protection that unless you have a direct hit, which is so unlikely, as long as you have surge protection, you're okay. So everything in our house is surge protected through our equipment. And that's gonna be just fine for you. And you said you're gonna hook up a lightning rod, good good call. That lightning rods take a lightning strike should it come and just shunts it straight off the ground. No problem, you're gonna be okay. All right, so I hope you do get a power regenerator, but don't do it out of fear of damaging your equipment. All right, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Be safe. Bye.